In this video, we will explore the different ways you can randomize quizzes within Brightspace. There are several options that can be used, including a random selection of questions from a question pool, allowing access to all questions, but shuffling the order of the questions appear for each learner, and lastly, shuffling the answer order from multiple choice questions. This video will go into detail about how to set up each of these options and give you the information you need to determine which option or options will work best for you. Before we begin, you should note that the question library is an important part of this process. The question library is a central repository where you can store questions to reuse in a course. As a best practice, it is recommended that you create all your questions using the question library. This ensures your questions are organized and stored in one central location for reuse and access. To give a random selection of questions within a question pool, the questions you want to include have to be located within the question library. Depending on how large the pool of questions are, for example, if the settings require 10 questions from a pool of 100 questions, and you have eight learners that will take the quiz, it's possible that each learner will receive completely different quiz questions from one another. From within your course, access the question library from the quizzes page and by selecting the question library tab. From here, you can click on the new button to create your question types, or you can create a section, which is like a folder of questions. Once you have your questions and are ready to create your quiz, go back to the main quiz area and select new quiz. Enter your quiz name. And then select the create new button, choosing question pool. You'll give your question pool a title. And now you want to click on the Browse Question Library button. This will open up your question library, and you can then select the questions that you wish to use in this quiz. Select the Import button. And the total number will populate, and you can then add in the number of questions that you wish to poll. For example, two questions. After you're ready, click on the Save button. And now your questions will be available within the quiz setup. An alternative option would be to use sections instead of the question pool. This allows you to sh shuffle some questions while still being able to omit those questions that you want to be sure every learner has access to. To set this up, Follow the same steps for creating a question pool, but instead choose Create New and Section. Give the section a title. You can select to hide this title from your learners, as well as the text if desired. And finally, you can select the shuffle questions in this section so that any questions that are brought in here will be shuffled for every user who takes the quiz. Once you've completed entering your information, you can hit the Save button, and then you can either create new quiz questions for this section by going to Create New, or you can add existing questions from your question library. Once you upload your questions from the library, you can drag them into the section. And now any questions that are within this section will be shuffled. If you're not using sections to house your questions, you can still add them in and shuffle them from the quiz level.
Once you have your questions, select timing and display, and then choose shuffle questions and sections within the quiz. Lastly, another simple option is to randomize the order that answers are listed for multiple choice questions within a quiz. To do this, open up your multiple choice question and you will see the randomized answer order at the bottom. Do be cautious for questions such as this, where you are identifying all the above or two specific answers. Because if you randomize these, well, then your order might not account for the answer that you have listed. Thanks for watching and hope that you found these tips helpful.